Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech, but today I want to talk a little bit about recycling computers and what actually happens to that stuff. So let's just get right into it. You get an old computer, you want to toss it out. Some people hear about like drives that are going on at their child's school where, uh, where everyone brings in their electronics and they throw it into a big pile and then everyone gets a cut of it, uh, the scrap fee. So a lot of the times the stuff goes off, it gets shredded, uh, down to the basic metals. There's actually gold. There's gold to be salvaged, platinum, silver, rare earth metals is a very important part. But there's different there's different kinds of recycling. And if you want to protect your data, then you have to make sure you know exactly what you're getting into. Because there are places that will recycle as if they will take the stuff out and sell it used, or if they're really bad computer people, they'll sell it as new. Uh, I'm sure you've heard the same problem going on when it comes to the auto industry, uh, the, the secondary auto industry, I guess I should say. Uh, parts being taken off of cars, for example, and being sold as new. Happens in a lot of places that, that also double as <laughs> wrecking yards, unfortunately. But it's, it's the same thing, ultimately. You could, if you give a computer away uh, for recycling, it might be getting destroyed, it might be put in a bin, sold to the highest bidder, taken over into I don't know, Indonesia, um, some, some place in the East, some place in Asia, where people will go through and pick off certain circuit boards. And geez, some of these people are really intelligent. They know exactly what all these chips are. They know what the resistors are, and they'll, they'll suck all that stuff off of there. They'll, they'll use a heat gun, and they'll, they'll get all that. So the unfortunate part is solder holds all this stuff together. Solder has lead if you warm it up. You're you're sucking on lead there, unfortunately. So these people doing that are, uh, are are they're not very well off, let's say. But anyways, what I'm concerned about, what I see happening, and what upsets me, is when people at these resale places take that stuff and sell it on eBay in bulk, or if they take the hard drives and stuff and sell it um, and sell it as a, as another drive. Okay, if they take the time to wipe everything, that's cool. You know, we're recycling, we're saving the planet there. You know, all the CO2 emissions and place will get this earth will get so hot in the next uh, uh, generation or two that most Olympics aren't going to be able to be hosted in most cities around the world because it's going to be so freaking hot. Like, we really got to worry about the world and stuff, but we also have to worry about what people are going to do with your data. If you're saving things to your desktop with information that you don't want just anyone to see, you might want to deal with that. Personally, I'm not really afraid of parts make it into wherever it's being sold for people to pick off little bits. I'm not worried about them. What I'm worried about is locals. What I'm worried about is people who have uh, <clears throat> computer stores and, uh, and uh, that, I shouldn't say computer stores, people who have places that recycle that say they're going to break stuff down, but don't actually break stuff down. And I have noticed, I, I have noticed, not in, any of, not in any of my computer stores, but in computer stores I've gone to before, uh, they'll definitely, they'll definitely, like, oh, this computer's dead, it's dead. And basically they say, this computer's dead, because the cost of getting a new one is is less than the cost of having someone repair things here and a lot of times that's just because these things get created manufactured put together tested in foreign nations where where it costs nothing to get people to make computers and then but over here we charge a pretty penny uh it costs a lot of money to hire anyone in, in north america but uh, when you get the type that that takes stuff in that don't erase it that just sell it right off or sometimes, and this has kind of upset me in the past, I've seen other YouTubers get computers from the recycling stations and comment about what they see in there. You know what? You're going to, you're going to find stuff on there. You're always going to find something if you look hard enough. And do you, really, do you really want to look? Personally, I think it's a bit of an invasion of privacy when you do something like that. But recently I have seen some YouTubers uh, make budget computer videos budget computer videos where they get a computer from a recycling station and then go through it and oh they found some hentai or some some video games with the animated naked chicks on I'm like oh look at this let's make a youtube video about it but yeah you know you're you're, you're always going to find stuff so just don't look and don't be putting people's uh, information up on youtube that's just that's just heartbreaking 
So really, if if you want to recycle your things, if you want to recycle your things, you might want to take it to a computer guy and just say, hey, can I give you 10 bucks just to make sure all my information is wiped on here? There's a lot of information that can be saved. If you save credit card numbers, if you save almost anything, it's probably in your best interest to make sure that's wiped if you can't wipe it yourself. Now, a lot of people are like, everybody should know how to wipe their hard drive. Well, I'm telling you, son, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. There's a lot of people out there that just don't know how to do this stuff. There's people out there that can save my life if I get shot on almost any part of my body but don't know how to erase a hard drive. And you can't berate them. You can't bring them down for that. Hey, that's why we computer guys have our jobs. And by the way, for all those computer guys, giving everyone heck out there, giving everyone problems and acting like you're a better human being than them because they don't understand a, a computer. And when they bring a computer to them, you berate them and belittle them. I don't think you guys are going to have jobs soon in the next uh, in the next decade or so. I, I see a lot of young people growing up that are computer uh, proficient that aren't going to need your attitude. I just see a lot of attitude in IT, but maybe it's just where I'm coming from. I I, I don't know. It's, it's not just it's it's not just the places I've worked either. I see a lot of attitude in a lot of computer stores too, and uh, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate, but really, just get, getting back to the point at hand, recycling computers um you might just want to be careful you know what let me show you right here computers are pretty easy to open up here we have a standard build lenovo ibm you're always going to have screws get just get your hard drive out okay and usually okay you see where the motherboard is you see where all this stuff is you're, you're going to want to open it from the opposite side so take the screws off the opposite side the motherboard you can tell is down here because that's where all the ports are Take those screws off, pop your case open. It should be pretty easy. In this particular brand, I have a button I have to push. Then I can slide it up. And this stuff's really easy. So usually, usually, yeah, you just, once you get the two Phillips head screws off, just slide it up, slide it open, and you can get right into it. And this is what your hard drive looks like. Uh, this is a three, three and a half inch hard drive. One sec. Oh, you know what? I already pulled this sucker out. But in most in most cases, this is what you're going to be looking at. All you need to worry about is getting your hard drive out. Your hard drive is going to be sitting right about here. Right about here. Just, there'll probably be two Phillips head screws. Just pull that sucker out. There might be some on the other side. You might have to take the other side of the case off. But this this is your quintessential basic case right here. And if you don't know much about computers, this is probably the kind of case that you're going to have. And take this drive out. One sec. It might be smaller than this too, but it will always be square. It might be a laptop type. And you'll absolutely know it's that size and will have those kinds of pickups. Right here. Now let me show you what that's going to be like. You know what, I don't even think I have any laptop drives here anymore. What the heck? Laptop drives like that, but not quite the same size. I don't have any laptop drives here. I must have put them all in different units. But anyways, once I'll show you how to get a hard drive out of a laptop. Okay, so. So you know your standard laptop for the most part. You're going to have to take Phillips head screws off, unless it's an unreasonable laptop. Take Phillips head screws off, and psh, usually there's a little thing here you just pop off. And then, oh, okay. Sometimes it's in here, you just pull her out. And other times, it'll be in the side. You can tell because it'll have that picture on it. Let's see if I can get that. That picture, like a cylinder. I'm just unscrew that and pull it out. Unfortunately, I can never find a Phillips head screwdriver when I need it. I never have a problem finding it when I don't need it, though, of course. Yeah, sure. I'm not the only one. Ah, here we go. I'm sure I'm not the only one that has that problem. Actually, I forget what kind of hard drive I got in this one. I used to have a whole bunch of, of uh, laptops. So, pull the screw out. Pulled the unit out. So that is a laptop hard drive. How's it to the pickups? 
And what you want to do is go ahead and hit that with a good old hammer. Go ahead and hit it with a hammer all day long. What you should know is in most hard drives there's a spinning platter. And then an arm that sits over here is like tick, 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 reading all the information. Make sure that disc gets broken and you won't have any for You know what? You know what? If you, if, if you don't got much time, grab the drive. You see these pickups right here? Just, I'm not going to break because this is a good drive. Just psh, get those, break those off. Once you get those broken off, it is insanely difficult to get information off that. That's a quick way, but if you want the absolute way, just nuke that sucker for more of it. Like, just bring the hammer down on it, man. But definitely, know what to do with your hardware. Know what to do with your digital information. And of course, if you have nothing to hide, then you have nothing to worry about. But if that was true, why doesn't the government just declassify everything? All of us are entitled to our privacy. All of us. And this is one thing we're entitled to. Now, if you know what you're dealing with, that's cool. But just know, just know, I mean, you gotta, you gotta be careful out there. Your information is everything. In fact, the, the, the internet is based off your information or advertisements. Either they're selling your information or they're giving you advertisements. That's how the world goes around. That's how radio works too. For the lesser part, that's how TV works. Advertisements for everybody. But yeah, watch yourself. Watch yourself when it comes to recycling. If you're recycling a computer, know what you're getting into. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you this right now. If you're giving a computer that hasn't been formatted to a tech kid, they are going to look through absolutely everything. I promise you, they're going to think they're little frickin' spies or James Bond or something like that, or think they're all frickin' smart and intelligent and go through your system. It happens. The young ones are really bad for it. So, just be careful. Just be careful. Know what you're getting into. That's a little bit of information from uh, the, tech, the tech guy's side. You know, one little story I'll tell you before I go. I was looking for a freaking power button for a computer. I'm about to do a video where I put a, uh, a computer in a melt crate. I love making these budget kind of computers. So I went over to a computer shop in Fergus and I'm like, hey, yeah, I, I got a really weird one for you, but if you, got, if you recycle systems, this ain't going to be a problem for you. you. I just need a power button off a system. I'm like, nope, well, we got recycle systems. You, nope, you can't pull, can't pull the power battery out, out of it. Okay, bam, just like that, that tells me they need this stuff the way it is so they can resell it. Hmm, yeah, you know what, I bet, I bet what happened there was somebody brought a computer in and they sold them and they're like, no, 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 buy this, or buy this. So the person buys that, they take this and they get all the parts off of it and whatnot, but seriously, they gotta be using almost every part of those systems if they can't give me a power button. Those computers aren't going for scrap. They're something wrong with that. Anyways, just keep keep mindful. You gotta you gotta keep your data yours. Or if you don't care, then you don't care. But I thought I'd just throw that out there. Uh, different people definitely have different ways of recycling systems. Anyways, that's it for me, Nev, from Nev's Tech. But it's like, subscribe if you like this stuff. Always helps me out. And as usual, take care of each other. Catch you later.